roughly 500 years. It was said to have been designed in the 1500s by Andrea Amato. To form the modern violin, over 70 pieces of either spruce or maple wood are put together. Violin bows contain 150 to 200 hairs. They typically are made up of nylon or horse hair. Violin strings were first made of dried sheep gut that are now made up of solid steel, stranded steel, or various synthetic materials, wound with various metals, and even sometimes played with silk. Friction. The sound of a violin is produced by dragging the bow over the string. Rosin is rubbed onto the bows, creating friction between the strings and the bow, which ultimately produces the sound. Tension. Pitch can be altered by increasing or decreasing the tension of the strings by using the pegs or the fine tuners. Also, different notes can be placed by placing fingers on the fingerboard. This decreases the length of the string. Therefore, increasing tension will produce for a higher note. The four violin strings, G, D, A, and E, are tuned to an interval of fifth apart. E is tuned to 659.3 Hz, A is tuned to 440 Hz, D is tuned to 293.7 Hz, and G is tuned to 196 Hz. Harmonics. Overtones or harmonics are created by just placing a finger on a note on the string. A note is a place on a standing wave that is still. Overtones of harmonics can be played on only certain parts of the string. Halfway, one-third, one-fourth, one-fifth, and so on. Frequency is how often something happens and is measured in hertz or cycles per second, and it can be found by using the equation velocity over wavelength. In violins, frequency is how many vibrations travel through the instrument per second. When a higher note is played, it vibrates more, therefore increasing the frequency. And the opposite is true for a lower note. When the violin is played, the vibrations are sent down the strings, they travel through the bridge, and then eventually inside the violin to the sound post. Then the sound is released through the F holes. Sound in a violin moves in a transverse way. This is an acoustic violin, and this is an electric violin. Acoustic violins are hollow, and electric violins do not have the hollow wooden body. The acoustic violin produces a louder sound because the sound waves travel through the wooden body and are released through the F holes, which amplify the sound. Electric violins are a little different. Electric violins produce a softer sound when not connected to an amplifier. They produce a softer sound because they do not have the body to travel through, such as the acoustic violin. What the sound waves produced by a violin look like. When the lowest string is played, you can see that less vibrations are occurring, so the waves are farther apart. When the highest string is played, there are more vibrations occurring, so the waves are closer together. In conclusion, many aspects of physics are demonstrated in the playing of a violin. Friction is displayed in the use of the bow and the rosin. Tension plays a major role in the use of the violin. It is used to tune the instrument and creates the notes. Harmonics are used in various songs and are played by placing a finger on one of the notes on the strings. Frequency is the amount of vibrations that travel through a violin per second. Finally, sound waves travel through the instrument to produce the sound.
found it using the equation. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I have to look up what that is. <laughs> no, I don't want to say the overlap. Lambda, 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 lambda. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's velocity over the All right. When the violin is played, the vibrations are sent through the strings. Friction is displayed in the. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. I don't know what the word is. Friction is displayed. Yeah, the use. use. It looks, I don't even know what it looks like. It looks like US.